Drugs exist throughout nature, and their use to produce intoxication occurs in animals far older than man. It seems that as long as blood has flowed through human veins, drugs have flowed with it. And wherever you find the phenomenon of intoxication, so too will you find the problem of addiction. Of all the questions we can ask about addiction, there is one question that stands out. All the other questions about addiction begin with this one, and everything hinges on the answer. The most important question about addiction is simply this. Is it really a disease? When I first came to treatment for my own problem with addiction, my counselors told me that addiction was a disease. As a physician, I was skeptical. Addiction's not a disease, it's a choice. Diabetes is a disease. The diabetic didn't choose to get it, but the drug addict did have the choice to start using drugs. Cancer is a disease. It befalls an unfortunate person through no fault of their own. But addicts, they do this to themselves. That made sense to me. But the more I expressed my sympathy for the argument against calling addiction a disease, the more my counselors told me that I was in denial and that I needed to surrender. Well, they were right. I did. But as a doctor, I believe that patients have the right to ask questions. And as a patient, I wasn't satisfied with the answers I was getting. A lot of people told me that addiction was a disease, but very few of them could defend that position. And I had to know. So I decided to find out for myself. And that set me on a personal journey that has taken the last 10 years of my life. Along the way, I've come to realize that this question is far more complex than it looks. And finding the answer takes more than medicine and science. Our path travels through philosophy, law, politics, even history. I began my search just trying to make sense of my own addictive behavior. I quickly discovered that I had stumbled across one of the greatest intellectual puzzles of our time.